I also intend to vote for this, but I need to speak coming from a community that I represent in St. Peter, Minnesota that has a community partnership with uh, the sex offenders program that is in, in my region. And uh, persons that we're speaking about here and others uh, have as a part of their treatment program as they move through the phases a community-based uh, transitional reentry process. So community, like St. Peter, uh, partners with the universe, with the uh, treatment program for sex offenders, and, and uh, these persons are in the community all the time, going to the library, going to the stores to purchase things. As a part of their treatment program, they're learning uh, to move and to adapt to community living, uh, beginning to understand some of what those pressures will place upon them and learning how to manage those uh, so that they don't retreat into the, uh, old behavioral patterns. So my concern about uh, the Senate, and I think the Senate has a higher obligation, is to not participate in the misinformation that gets communicated and creates anxiety and panic in the public. What this bill does that I intend to vote for because the public is highly anxious about not having the information they think they need to be safe, so I will vote for it in concern to that, but the problem is we're not giving them enough information as a result of this bill in order to make a determination about the level of risk. And it's because of what, what information is protected uh, as health, health information. That's the information along with the fact that the person is going to be released that helps the public understand the risk level and understands what it is that has happened for the person. What transitional activities and communities have happened before they've been placed in the new community. So when we only give partial information uh, on a subject that is highly volatile and highly uh, anxiety producing to the public that's incomplete, then we're participating in creating a panicky situation rather than creating a solid and reasonable community response to the transitional programs from the sex offenders. So I think the Senate as a body has to uh, rise above uh, some of what is community anxiety or panic and address these issues in a more comprehensive way.